The Vanuatu government has today signed a contract with Fulton Hogan to carry out emergency repairs to the runway at Port Vila's airport. Air New Zealand Qantas and Virgin Australia last month stopped flying to the airport, citing concerns about the runway safety. Radio New Zealand International reporter Johnny Blades is in the Wellington studio and joins us now. Johnny, are these emergency repairs which are different from permanent repairs? They are, that's right. So this is just a, a short-term fix to see uh, the airport through till later in the year. The, the work's going to take about five weeks um, and, uh, and then that will get them through to the peak uh, tourist season and season and see them through till maybe October. The long-term solution for Bowfield runway will be... Runway will be Johnny, this has been known about for ages, right? I mean, this, the, the airlines have been sounding warnings, Air New Zealand in particular. Why has it taken so long to get to the point where even emergency repairs are being undertaken? Well, basically, the, the country's um, shambolic politics. Um, you know, by my calculation, they've had something like 12 changes of prime minister and configurations of government within the last eight years. Wow. So successive governments have known about the problem, but um, the, no plan got off the ground. And actually, some of the plans were rather dubious, like uh, the, the government that's just been voted out at the recent snap election, had uh, they were sort of toying with the idea of going with a deal offered by a Singapore tobacco company uh, to revamp Vila Airport. Yeah, it's pretty nutty stuff. How important is it that Vanuatu gets this right? Because they've had a terrible year with Cyclone Pam, the impact of this on tourism. They need to sort it, they need to sort it fast, and they need the world to know they've sorted it, right? That's right, it's very important. Tourism, as you know, is the, the main mm. revenue earner for Vanuatu, and they're, they're just on their knees after Cyclone Pam last, uh, last March. Mm. But, uh, you know, um, they have this new government uh, showing some signs that they're really, well, I mean, they're acting urgently, that's one good thing, I suppose. But they're, they're talking about a master plan for, for, for the uh, airport scene, and they, they might even uh, relocate, not relocate, but make another major international airport in the main northern island, Santo, which is actually the biggest island and most populated island in Vanuatu. But, you know, as you probably know, the whole tourism industry is centred around Port Vila and Santo is a sort of a distant mm. second. But it's got huge potential, you know, it's absolutely beautiful. And they've got a great uh, piece of land for, for a big runway for the long haul flight. So elements of this government are really pushing for them to, as well as, uh, sorry, upgrading Port Vila to a, for a decent amount of years later in the year, getting this one in Santo up to scratch so that they can have the two major airports and, and give their tourism industry the best chance of really rocking. Johnny Blades from Radio New Zealand International. Thanks, Johnny.